All right, so what we're doing here is we're taking and uh, checking the uh, valve train geometry on this uh, engine we're putting together. This is actually my engine. Uh, this is a uh, wide port factory ram air forehead that uh, I'm highly modified the ports. Uh, these ports are about, I think they're an inch 400 wide now by about two and a half inches tall. Factory, they're about two 200 tall by about one 130. So they're quite a bit wider, and uh, because of that, we got to use a shaft rocker system on this. And uh, so that's what we're checking right now. We're checking our geometry. And what that means is we want to make certain that the uh, push rod length is correct, and we want to make sure that the center of the uh, roller tip on the rocker, or the roller tip on the rocker rolls in the center of the valve uh, stem whenever it's rolling over. And so how we do that is, is we take and uh, put a, uh, a uh, little bit of uh, black marker, or dike and blue, or whatever you have to mark the top of the valve stem. And then you uh, adjust your valve lash and then rotate the engine over twice. And then what we do is we pull the rockers back off and take a look and see what the pattern looks like. And if it's not uh, where we want it to be, then we have to make some adjustments. And uh, those adjustments could be anything. Now this is a shaft system, so really the only adjustment you have on this is you either um, have to machine the uh, stand that the rocker bolts to down to take away material, or you have to add uh, shim underneath the stand to get it up high enough if that's what it needs. And so we're gonna take a look at it real quick right now and see what we got. So, actually that looks, if we can see it there, that doesn't look too awful bad. It's almost, you want it in the center and you want your pattern to be nice and tight, and that looks really good. So uh, the intake rocker looks fine on this one. Uh, we'll do the same thing with the uh, exhaust rocker as well. This is going to be a pump gas deal. Uh, originally I thought it was going to have more compression than what it does, but uh, it's only got about 10 to 1 or 10 and a quarter to 1. I don't remember the exact number on this again. We'll have to look it up and see. but. Uh, these are number 722 1969 Ram Air foreheads. I've had these things for darn near 40 years. I bought these things a long time ago, and even back when I bought these heads, they were a lot of money. They, uh, I think I paid $2,800 for these heads back in like 1983 or 84, somewhere around there. <laughs> and it was back then that was just like stupid money for a set of cylinder heads. But that's what they were going for, and that's what I paid for them. So, um, this is a, a 455. It's got a forged crank in it now. Um, and it's going to um, go in my 71 Le Mans that I bought from a good uh, customer of mine. And uh, it's back half. Uh, it's still a fairly, fairly heavyweight car. It's about 3,600 pound car. But it's set up to go, uh, it has the cage in it to run uh, 850. Uh, I doubt we're going to get close to 850 with this, but. Uh, if we can get this thing somewhere in the nines, I'll be tickled to death on pump gas, and uh, we're going to make it streetable too. It is a right now a race car, but it is going to get. Uh, uh, I do have a title for it, so I'm going to get it uh, licensed. Um, if you look down in there too, you can see we got an offset uh, lifter on this thing too. And the other thing we did too is these lifters. If you look at them, look at the height of them. And so that means that we don't have a real, real long push rod like uh, normally do. It's a really short push rod, actually. Yeah, it's about 300,000 shorter. So, it's uh, seven and three quarters. Seven. Look at how short that push rod is. Typically, a Pontiac push rod is about... You're, you're too close. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, typically, a, a Pontiac push rod is right around 9,300 to 9,500 long. And this one's, what'd you say, seven what? Seven, seven, seven and three quarter. Yeah, seven, oop, let's see if it'll focus there. Yeah, maybe it will, maybe it won't. Anyway, it's not focusing. Yeah, seven and three quarter. So this thing's uh, almost two inches shorter push rod, which is good. Now we just checked the exhaust side there, and uh, you can see that pattern looks pretty darn good too. So we are going to run this. We like it. That's perfect. It's exactly what you're looking for. Now if it wasn't on the center of the valve stem tip here, then we would have to make adjustments. If it was too far this way, then you're gonna to have to shim it to bring the, the rocker stand up, which, you know what, looks like that's what he did already. I did. So I yes. see shims in there now. So that's what we had to do to get that uh, uh, pattern to look like it does. 
Um, so it was just a little bit in before. Okay, so, so it was slightly in, and as you can see, there's a shim underneath here, and so he he raised the rocker stand, and that lined it up perfect. So that's what you're looking for whenever you uh, when your geometry is correct. Yep, narrow pattern and in the center. Yep. And what that does is it uh, makes the engine sing. It makes it a lot happier at higher RPM. And, uh, so, <laughs> and this is going to see a lot of RPM because of these wide port heads. Yeah, so, you know, these heads, you guys, some of you have been following me on uh, YouTube with these things. They are, uh, uh, these are highly modified uh, set of cast iron factory heads. Uh, I put a lot, a lot of epoxy in these, and uh, we moved the push rods over. Uh, got rid of the push rod, factory push rod holes, and uh, epoxied that all up. And uh, so we're going to have uh, a wide port Ram Air 4 engine that uh, hopefully will make enough horsepower to run at least a 970, 980, and a 3,600 pound car. That's the goal. So we'll see. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.